Welcome back, everybody. Or if you guys are new here, my name is Michelle. And I'm Jose. And this is our food and travel channel. So we're currently in Maui. Maui. And there is a food truck that we saw that has some good looking Filipino food. So where are we headed to? So we are heading to Wailuku and we're heading to a place called Da Soriano Grinds. Yeah. And this is a food truck mm -hmm. that is paying it forward yes. and accepting donations to help support all of the families that have been affected by the wildfires. Yes. So we're going to go eat. We're going to go support. Let's go. at our spot what did we decide to get so first and foremost number one pro tip i can tell you you need to come here yeah early. <laughs> yeah when i say early i mean like when they open yeah. because yeah. we got here about an hour after they opened and they were already sold out on all their specials yeah not to say there wasn't anything else on the menu we were interested in true but they were sold out on so many things so come early yeah has to be good if it's selling out that fast. Mm -hmm. So, what items did we get? <laughs> so, we were able to secure two plates, and the first thing that we got is a calbi with garlic shrimp. So here at Do Da Soriano Grinds, they are Filipino food with a little bit of Hawaiian food kind of mixed in, because mm -hmm. I mean, why not? They're here in Maui. Yep, and then the second plate that we got was? The second plate that we got is one of our favorites yeah. pork adobo yes and i know what you're gonna say you know pork adobo you've probably tried it before everybody has their own spin on it so make sure that you try it at all the different places yeah and the nice thing here at the soriano grinds is that for your proteins you you can choose what side you want mm, so you can nice. either get uh, you get two choices. So you can get either all rice, all mac salad, okay. all green salad, or all bun set. Or you can do one order of each and kind of mix it up. Ooh, nice. uh, we That's decided, cool. because we're here in Hawaii, we yeah. obviously had to get the rice. Yeah. But then we obviously had to get mac salad. You gotta do mac salad. You have to. It's a must. So, let's dig in. So we're gonna try the garlic shrimp first. Yes. And this garlic shrimp, uh, for those of you guys who are familiar with garlic shrimp here in Hawaii, mm -hmm. this one here is already pretty much almost peeled, no shell except yes, for the tail, really cool. and that. it's got a really nice light uh, breading to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so let's give it a try. Let's try. Mm -hmm. Oh, a very mm -hmm. pronounced garlic flavor. I love it. Oh yeah, it's got bits and pieces, small little bits and pieces of garlic. Mm -hmm. But I feel like whatever that light breading that they use, mm -hmm. it has like garlic flavor yes, yes. included in it. Mm -hmm. Now I did get a little bit of a, a tangy, highlighty kind of taste. So maybe maybe a lemon or a lime or something like that. There was a little bit of tanginess on there. There is a lemon. Right so that's probably what it is, yeah. Right by the shrimp. Which and makes sense because it goes well with seafood. So. And they do give you six pieces of shrimp, so it's very nice, uh, nice balance between mm -hmm. the calbi oh, yeah. and the shrimp. Yeah. And the shrimp was really juicy and plump. Yes, very juicy, very big too, like a plump, plump, juicy fish. I'm gonna fish shrimp. I'm gonna go ahead and try another one. Uh, you know, just I have to try it again, right? Mm -hmm. Just make sure. Yeah, very garlicky. I love that. I mean, love look it. at the, look at the size. Mm -hmm. That's of a big the shrimp. shrimp. It's just really nice mm -hmm. and plump. Mm. Yeah, very good. Ooh. We're gonna try the calbi next. Ooh, yeah. Okay. All right, cool. here we go. Ooh. Mm. That is nice and tender. Mm -hmm. Mm, and the 
some flavor on that calbee. Mm -hmm. Not overly done. You can still taste the original flavoring of the meat. Yeah, light, just a little light sweetness, but really savory. Yeah, that marinade that they put on there. Mm -hmm. You can definitely taste the marinade with whatever seasoning and spices that they use. It's definitely through and through. I mean, yeah, yeah I know it's a thin piece yeah. of galbi, but still like once you keep chewing and chewing and chewing, you can really taste the burst of flavor from that marinade. Mm. Mm -hmm. So a little bit of fattiness on the outside. Oh, that's so good. Very juicy as well. Mm -hmm. Ooh. I'm gonna chase mine with just a bite of rice. Mm -hmm. It's the Filipino thing to do. Mm -hmm. You do the same. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Mm -hmm. And I like getting the calbi sometimes with the actual bone, because mm -hmm. then you can like, really taste like all the way down to the bone, uh, the cartilage and all the flavoring that gets yeah, caught 100%. in there. Also, it creates a nice little handle. <laughs> Let's be honest, it does. Oh yeah, this is very good. Cooked very well, um, still has that tenderness like Michelle said. So yeah, spot on, this is, re this is really good. All right, stay tuned to our next plate. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, we got so excited. Good old Mac Sam. <laughs> we get so excited yeah. about the, the calvi and the shrimp. We oh. gotta try the Mac salad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so here we go. Okay, there you go. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Cooked al dente, not overly mayo. Yeah, it's not too too creamy, mm -hmm. just the right amount mm -hmm. of the creaminess in there with the uh, macaroni. Yes. Looks like there's a... Uh... Carrots? Yeah, it looks like carrots. Overall a good mac. Mm -hmm. Yeah, overall good mac. Let's get to yeah. the fun part. Mm -hmm. So, there are adobo here, it's pork adobo. And it is a very nice uh, combination of fatty and lean pieces, which wow. I absolutely love. Oh, I went straight for it. <laughs> <laughs> I went straight for it. All right. Don't want to lose the chance to get this so one. So I am going to get a piece here. Mm -hmm. All right. I got a piece with all the saucy goodness. Yeah, on there. there you go. Okay. Ready? Let's go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Like I said, not everybody's pork adobo is the same. Everybody's got their own twist got their and their recipes and, like. and things yeah. that they've learned, you know, see, through their see. families and whatnot. And I think that this is really good pork adobo. Oh yeah. But the difference here and some of the other pork adobos that we've had mm -hmm. is that the uh, flavor of the of vinegar is yeah. not as um, pronounced, pronounced yes. as like the soy sauce, yes. which is yes. still good. Like I said, it's good to explore mm. and taste mm -hmm. different uh, different ways that people can make food. Yeah. The pork is very savory. Overall, it's a very, very savory, mm. not too salty. I do enjoy that it's not very vinegary. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes it can be overly vinegary and it kind of throws you off a little bit. So it's good to try something that has a little less vinegar. And man, this is very flavorful. I'm going to get mine. Oh, yeah. With a bite of rice. Perfect bite. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Uh -huh. I got a piece of mine with the fat. It's so good. You didn't see that, but her leg actually shaked underneath the table because she was so excited. <laughs> Let me see. So the fat, it just melts mm, in your mouth. Yeah. Mm. It's so gelatiny. Oh my god, it's so good. Let's so see if I can get some of this juice at the bottom. Is it juice? Right what is it known as? Oh, sabao, sabao, bro. <laughs> oh, that is so good. I think I think one of the most important things is that when you eat adobo. Mm -hmm. Whether it's pork adobo or chicken adobo, or some people even make beef adobo, mm -hmm. 
is to always go back and reintroduce whatever that protein is oh to the sabao or oh to my. the sauce. You see that oh dripping my. in there? And yes. then chase that with rice or put rice in your bite. I mean, look how glistening this is with the sabao on it. Oh man. I'm so glad we decided to get this because again, we've said this already, but it's always good to see the different spins on food. So you know that there's not just one way to make it. So good. Oh, so tender too. Okay. All right. Well. You can keep talking. I'm going to keep eating. <laughs> that was so good. I, I've said this once and I will say it again. Falling into a connect attack is a running thing here in Hawaii. The food is just so good. Absolutely. I totally agree. Mm -hmm. I think both plates that we got, I mean, yeah. you've got your Filipino food with mm -hmm. the pork adobo and then you yeah. had your kind of Hawaiian flair food yes. with the kalbi and the garlic shrimp. Yeah. Best of both worlds. Best of both worlds. in one spot. 100%. Yes. Mm -hmm. I agree. I agree. Now, we do want to share with you that the Soriano Grinds, yeah. uh, they did have a primary location located in Lahaina, mm -hmm. and unfortunately, their location there completely yeah. burnt down. Yeah. But what we want to share with you and what's important for you guys to know out there is that even though this the Soriano family suffered, you know, the loss yeah. of their primary yeah. location that brings in you know, majority of their income. They still do catering and they were still out there providing food for those that were affected at the yeah. shelters and other places that people just were seeking out any kind of assistance with food in the very, very beginning stages of the devastation that occurred. And so yeah. to suffer a loss, but still be able to go out there and provide support mm -hmm. to your community, uh, to the local people here. That says a lot of things about the Soriano family. Yeah, it says a lot about the true human spirit. And that's that's awesome, mm -hmm. very awesome. So one other thing we do want to share with you guys, if you saw our first video about Maui, yeah, yeah. the Soriano Grinds, they uh, have a Venmo mm -hmm. um, account that mm -hmm. they are taking all of the proceeds 100% mm -hmm. Of the proceeds from that Venmo account of donations yes. and taking that, paying it forward mm -hmm. and providing, continue to provide meals for those that have suffered from yeah. the wildfires. So yeah. again, if you have the chance to come out here to Maui mm -hmm. in person, please yes. visit them, yes. enjoy the wonderful food that mm -hmm. they are making. Mm -hmm. And then if you have the ability to pay that forward. Yeah. and donate to that Venmo. And then for those of you guys who cannot make it out here in person right now or at this time, we will put down in the links in the links in the description below yes. the Venmo information so you can if you're able to support virtual. Yes, and remember, as I've always said, as we've always said, any little bit counts. It doesn't matter the amount, it doesn't matter how large, how small. Everything helps with the situation so if you have the ability to do so please help yes so all right yeah so that's going to be the end of the video if you enjoyed the video today please do us a favor and go down there and hit that subscribe button help to join our community here on youtube as well as go down there and hit that notification bell it just drops you a nice little notification letting you know that we drop new content and come on guys while you're down there hitting that subscribe button mm -hmm. if you have it already because yeah. it's free 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 yeah. go ahead hit that like button too and then comment down below have you had the chance to try filipino food and if you had what is your favorite dish and then don't forget to follow us on our instagram michelle jose food and travel yeah and as always any places that we highlight there will be links in the description below with all the information that you need as well as the information on how to help out people that were affected with the Maui wildfires. So all those links will be in the description below. All right, guys. Until the next time. Yep. Bye. Bye.